San Luis Obispo City firefighters say they've significantly cut down their response time to hiking rescues around the city. KSPY News reporter Megan Abundas spent time at Bishop Peak with rescue crews and has details. People love seeing the sights of the Central Coast. In fact, fire officials say more than 100 people a day come visit Bishop Peak. But with that come incidents. So now Slow City firefighters are using a county funded Polaris to provide faster aid. As the weather warms up and the sun sticks around longer, locals and visitors will be using the city's open spaces. But with exploration and adventure, incidents can occur. Plenty of times people have been forced to call 911 and get help, whether it's for dehydration, twisted ankles, or even falls. Paramedics and firefighters have responded. I'm going to say it's either mostly for heat exhaustion is our main one. A $33,000 grant paid for the new Polaris and rescuer training. On Thursday, every single city fire Firefighter came out to Bishop Peak to work with the new equipment. San Luis Obispo City firefighters say when summer rolls around, they are responding twice a month for rescues around city hiking areas. We've seen a dramatic increase just because we have out of towners coming in and utilizing our open space and our trails more than we ever have before. Yeah, since it's so popular, I think people don't realize that it's it's kind of dangerous at the top. You got to be careful. Molly Clough says she often hikes Bishop Peak. It's fairly easy but then as you get closer to the top it gets super rocky and I know the first time I went up there I got too scared to climb up to the very peak because you're it's really like rock climbing more than hiking. <laughs> So now what used to be a grueling 45 minute process has been cut down to under 10 minutes. We used to have a model before the Polaris got here where we would use a Stokes basket and a wheel to bring someone off the hillside that weighed over 100 pounds. And, and that would tax uh, our rescuers uh, indefinitely for days to come and then respond to a structure fire shortly after would exhaust us. With the Polaris here, this is gonna be pivotal, not just for the victim themselves, but for the rescuer as well. They say this can be used on various trails. Johnson Ranch, Froome Ranch, Cerro San Luis, and Cal Poly, and at city events like the Women's March. Uh, this is a great vehicle that will be used to, to save and change lives on a daily basis. This July, fire crews say that they will receive the rest of their county grant money to outfit the Polaris with a rescue module. So essentially, it'll be safer and easier to transport victims in the back of the Polaris. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Megan Abundas, KSBY News.